state of the car industry such as it is, you've got to wonder why an American startup company would be developing a new car right now. Thing is, the so-called E7 isn't just any old car. It was designed specifically for police officers. It's complete with infrared camera for night vision, built-in radiation detector, and wait till you see what's under the hood. This may be the police car of the future. Atlanta-based Carbon Motors is touring the country with its prototype. Instead of retrofitting a consumer vehicle for police use, the E7 is the first car built specifically for law enforcement. You would never send a uh, pickup truck to go put out a fire. Why would you send a family sedan to go take care of a homeland security issue? The vehicle was designed from the ground up with the officer's safety and comfort in mind. From these seats designed to accommodate a utility belt to state-of-the-art technology embedded in the vehicle. Onboard equipment automatically scans license plates of other vehicles and can detect nuclear and biological threats. The rear compartment is completely sealed for safer transport of prisoners, and flashing lights embedded in the frame make the car aerodynamic and visible from all angles. Everything that I have to do to put a police car in service is already done. Police and municipal fleet managers are immediately taken by the car's powerful features, but some worry about how much it all will cost. Can they compete? with Ford, can they compete with Chevrolet, can they compete with those guys and actually put a car out there we can use that that makes sense for us to buy because it's competitive in price. The company, which plans to put its first E7s in service in 2012, says the price will be comparable to what law enforcement agencies currently pay for retrofitted vehicles, with the added advantage of a powerful diesel engine that's 40% more fuel efficient. If the project succeeds, Carbon Motors predicts production of the E7 will create 10,000 direct and indirect American jobs and a black and white that better protects and serves the men and women in blue. In Greenville, South Carolina, Jonathan Seri, Fox News.